So dad had a um, white truck that he decided to wrap and it said, I buy houses and it was bright blue and it had his phone number on it. And we were so embarrassed having him drop us off at school. I remember like asking him to drop me off like way far away from the door. I'd be like, no, don't come pick me up there. No, everyone's gonna see it. Yeah, he was always really proud of it and he loved it, so. <laughs> Hey guys, we are here at a special house today. Our daughter, Rachel, is getting married later this year and we are helping her with her first house. We are gonna try to make it into a beautiful dream home for her. What we really loved about this house is it's got a real big open floor plan on the main level, huge kitchen, large living space. Uh, that was really important to Rachel. Um, we have ordered her kitchen cabinet, so we need to lay out the plumbing for the plumber. And we're very excited to help her get started in the world, but yes, we're, we hope that we're raising her to, to be able to do all of those things herself. She's graduating from college, she'll be getting married, she just got her real estate license, so um, we just want to give her a good head start. I've really enjoyed growing up and watching my parents just buy and sell real estate. I've been in real estate, not doing real estate, but just been in the environment and around the industry for my whole life, 20 years. Even when I was a little kid, like six years old, I'd be going with my dad to Lowe's and riding around with him to look at houses. And on Saturdays, the family would get in the car and drive around and my dad would be like, Rachel, call that realtor on that sign and ask her this, like how much this house is listed for. And I'd be like seven or eight years old. It was just a lot of fun just growing up in that. I think that when I was in high school, probably my freshman year of high school, I thought that I wanted to be a realtor. Lord have mercy. This is a plumber state measure right here. Okay. That sink needs to be right around here, brother. You have um, something to mark it with? Have you got a marker? Here you go. Chunk it over here, brother. This is where it'll be that way. Okay, so here we need to be about, I don't want to make it too tight. I think six feet. Have you got any other questions other than the water heater? I do think we're gonna have to revent that water heater somewhere else. How old is it? because we might just put a high efficiency unit and do an electric water heater. A lot of times when we move walls around, the furnace vent just ends up um, kind of in the middle of a room. So we're gonna have to reroute that somewhere. So a lot of times we gotta move it into a closet or into a wall somewhere. So uh, we need to figure that out real quick. I definitely want to just try out being an agent for a while, just see where that takes me. Um, but I would like to do some investing in the future, I think. I definitely would like to maybe have some rental properties or even run my own Airbnbs. Real estate is all about relationships. And I think that being that I've been sort of in the industry for a while and just being around people that, you know, my parents hang out with, like I know a ton of people um, already. And I think that that's really helpful. But my goal is to really grow like relationships and build those in all different areas of real estate. So I'm, I'm getting married uh, this upcoming New Year's Eve. My fiance Miguel, he works for my dad and he's been working for him for about six months and he really enjoys it. He goes to work and just loves it every single day. And I think that he wants to turn this into a career as well. And so possibly one day in the future, maybe we'll be flipping houses and we'll be the next Gregory Dream Team, you know? We need to figure out something with her furnace because the vent comes right up in the middle of the whole bath. Can you turn a vent in an attic 90 degrees or no? Yeah. You, you can. Yeah, the the uh, water heater's on it too though, okay? Will you come look at it and see if you can bring it up her master closet and then turn it out that same hole out the roof because this is a metal roof and I don't want to have to fix it. Okay. Right. Yeah, give me about an hour. All right, but thanks, brother. Let me know. Pull these shutters off. Cut all this landscape down, right? All of it. Big things are happening across the street. I know, man. So we bought this house several months ago and a house has already been built in the time we've been messing around with this thing so we got to get it done 
She, she keeps sending pictures. Um, she's got a little boho look about it. So, so I've been helping her buy things that we're um, going to put in there. And it'll be, it'll definitely look like a Gregory Dream home. <laughs> trying to keep it in budget. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've been a real estate agent for a month and a half. Dad called me that Sunday night and asked me to list a house the next morning. So that next morning, we went to that house and put a sign up, did the videoing and all that good stuff, and listed the house. And I didn't know much about it initially, so that, that time we went there, that was the first time I'd ever been there. Um, and so I really got to learn a lot about the property and then go and list it. And it was really fun because all day long I was getting phone calls and text messages about showings and stuff. You know, I always grew up seeing my dad take all those phone calls, so it was really cool to like be in that position taking those phone calls too. I got an offer that night and we went under contract within 24 hours. So we set up a team and that has been very beneficial. I've been able to go to my mom and um, other people in her office and just ask a bunch of questions. And they've kind of been guiding me through it, but I definitely think within the next few, few runs, I'll be able to do it all by myself. My name is Rachel Gregory and I'm with the Gregory Group at Keller Williams Homewood. I'm ready for any leads that I can get and anybody who wants to call or email me, my number is 205-213-1031. My email is rachelgregory at kw.com.